The Quest 2 is pretty awesome, right? But what if you could make it even better? Notice anything different about these two images? The left side is the default resolution for the Quest 2, and the right side is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Yes, you can actually bump up the resolution inside of the Quest 2, allowing for much more poppy and crisp visuals, which takes away that little bit of muddiness you get when playing on the default resolution. It's actually surprisingly easy to do. You will need a PC, but not a powerful one. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right after we check out some gameplay comparisons, just so you can see how much of a difference this actually makes. Let's check out some side-by-side -side comparisons right now. All right, first let's take a look at some after the fall. Now the footage you're seeing on the screen right now, left is normal, right is a higher resolution. If you look at the paneling on the wall and the texture of the wall, without even zooming in, you can see the texture on the left is muddy and a little bit blurry. On the right, it's very crisp and sharp. And if we zoom in, you can really see the massive difference with that concrete pile on the ground, the textures on the wall is more crisp and in focus almost. Now, if we move ahead just a little bit, you'll see on these arcade machines as well, the same thing, the light on the top and the screen itself, much more crisp on the right side than it is the left. And it's the same with the character models for the AI players on here as well. In fact, everything just overall, you can look at the ceiling, the floor, all of the textures are bumped up and it, it makes a massive difference. Now this is a dark interior. What happens when you go to the outside? Well, it's the same thing. You can see here, if you look at that arcade sign in the far background and even the cars in the mid ground and the tree and the poles, everything on the right side is just a little bit sharper. It gets rid of that muddiness. Even look at the snow on the ground. The patterns in the snow look much muddier when you're playing with default resolution. And on the right side, you can actually see very clearly the snow. Even when it comes to lighting, it it makes things look much better. I've frozen this image here because I think it's very impactful. Look at the tunnel leading out of this area. Now look at the left side and you'll see very muddy in comparison. All right, we've now jumped inside to after the fall. We're gonna look at some guns really quickly. You can see the textures here. The details on the gun are much more crisp and clear. Also look at the carpet on the floor in this image right now on the right side. Look how much detail you can actually see in the fabrics on that carpet. And on the left side, the details there, but much more muddy. Look at the detail on the hands here and even in the background and again on the carpet, you'll see more detail on the hands and in that carpet again on the floor. Now this is Ultra Wings 2 and it was kind of challenging because the time changed when I did the different recordings, but you can still see the difference. If you look at that middle pole where the propeller sticks up from, on the left side, it's got fuzzy lines on either edge. On the right side, the lines are much more clear and crisp. And you notice the same around the dials and around the flight stick. This makes everything look better, but especially stuff that's closer up to you because the higher the resolution, the better you can see things. You can actually read things better. Text and numbers are much clearer. Now it's kind of hard to tell with the textures of the land because of the visuals in this game, exactly how much of a difference that it makes and the color is different, but it does make everything pop and the edges a little more clean. Finally, I've got some gameplay from Resist here. This is such a fast moving game, it's really hard to see much visual difference. But if I scrub ahead to where you can see the top of the robot, look at the texture on top of the robot on the right side. See how clear and crisp that is. Now on the left side, you've got some muddiness again on those edges. Same thing with the buildings in the background and the signs and even the hands and the gun itself, you'll see edges that have somewhat of a fuzziness to it. Now let's jump over and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you've got to get out of the way is setting up your Quest 2 to connect to your PC properly. The first thing you got to do is go to the Oculus Developer Hub. I'll put a link down in the description or you can go to developer.oculus.com. You'll need to log into your Oculus account. Then you're going to need to hit create an organization on the left hand side. Next, just enter whatever your organization is going to be called. Check I understand and then hit submit. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is download some drivers to make this work. And those are the Oculus ADB drivers. There'll be a link down in the description. All you got to do is click on that link and it'll lead you directly directly to the download page. Hit the big blue download button. That'll download a zip file. Make sure you unzip that file. Then you're gonna navigate into the file and find Android underscore win USB dot INF. Right click on that file and then click install. Next, let's download SideQuest. Jump to the link in the description to go over and download the SideQuest software. Pick whatever platform you have, whether that is Windows or Mac or even Linux, and then download that software. 
Once SideQuest is downloaded, just install the software. And now we need to jump over to your mobile device. Navigate into the Oculus app. At the bottom of the application, tap on the Devices tab. Make sure your Quest 2 is on and close by. Once the app is connected to the Quest 2, scroll down and you're going to find Developer Mode. Tap on that tab. Then just make sure you slide the Developer Mode switch over so you can see the blue and then it's enabled. Now you're going to need a USB cable. It can either be a USB-C to USB-C or a USB-A to USB-C, whatever you have a slot for on your PC. I have a cable from a past Samsung phone that works perfectly fine. I just keep connected to one of my USB slots on my PC. What you're going to want to do is connect your Quest 2 to your PC using that USB-C cable. Then place the headset on your head. It'll say allow USB debugging. Make sure you hit always allow from this computer and then hit OK. That's it for setup. Open up the SideQuest software and in the top right hand corner, you're going to see a wrench. Click on that wrench and then scroll down until you find where it says default texture size. There's a whole bunch of options, both lower and higher than the default resolution. I go with 2560 most of the time because that seems to work really well. You can go with 2048 if you want to go a little bit less if you're seeing frame drops. If you want to reset to the default texture size resolution, you can reconnect your device and hit default Oculus Quest 2 or just reset your device as you'll have to redo this every time you reboot your Quest 2. And that's it. You're now ready to play at a higher resolution with those nice crisp lines and less fuzzy edges. There you go. That is how to bump up the resolution inside of the Quest 2. It's surprising how much of a difference it actually makes. And it's really hard to get that to come across in a video. So I hope that it did. It had actually been a while since I had enabled this and I was pleasantly surprised with how much better some of the newer games on the Quest 2 actually looked. It surprised me with games such as After the Fall, how much the textures made a difference when you enabled this on the Quest 2. Having played PC VR and then jumped into Quest 2. The scaling back of the visuals is pretty obvious, but by enabling this setting, this actually kind of takes some of that away. It doesn't increase the visuals in the game itself, but it definitely gives you a much better resolution and it takes the visuals that are there and makes them look even better. For me, this is like creating an optimal experience. If you want the absolute best looking image on your Quest 2, I definitely recommend at least trying this out and seeing if you can see the difference. It's pretty obvious in the images that I showed you today how much of a difference there actually is, but trust me, once you get into the headset, you'll notice an even bigger difference than seeing a static image or videos on a flat screen. The reality is it's pretty easy to do once it's all set up. You do have to enable this every time you reset the Quest 2, but it's really not that big of a deal with side quest. And for the most part, the performance should be totally fine for me. I don't use it all of the time because when I record with a higher frame rate and a higher bit rate, it tends to cause frame drops. So if you increase the resolution and increase your recording settings, it can cause issues. But on a normal gameplay session, you should be totally fine. What do you think, though? Are you going to try this out? Are you excited to play a higher resolution experience on the Quest 2? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to get the most out of your Quest and your Quest 2, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out even more of my videos right over there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.